Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, I think I've mentioned what I'm doing here in part of a video series on this truck and just kind of ongoing power stroke projects. But I also want to take a minute and just do a little bit more in-depth video on this undercoating and what I'm using and um, kind of what the thought process was behind the selection that I made. So I guess I'll start by saying I live in Northeast Ohio and we're nearby to Morton Salt and a couple of their production facilities. So there is a plentiful supply of cancer causing agents being spread on the roads that these trucks and cars drive in. And um, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I kind of like this truck. I'd kind of like to keep it around. I've put a lot of energy and a lot of time into it. And uh, I don't really want to watch it rust away before my eyes. So in addition to driving kind of a beater in the wintertime and trying to keep this truck off the road, I'm trying to do what I can to make it last. So this has um, some paint on the frame. This was a southern truck. Uh, this truck came from Georgia about seven years ago. Um, my son and my dad and I drove down and picked it up and drove it home. It was a hot mess. And it was beat and filthy and uh, ran like a top all the way home. Uh, 13 hours each way. But since we've got this truck here, um, I'm trying to make it last. I like these trucks. I like this truck. I've got it set up the way that I want it. It does what I need it to do, and I want to keep it around. So, um, about four and a half years ago, I had the bed off, I had the front end apart, and I took the time to pressure wash and dry and OSFO spray the frame and then put about five coats of paint on it. Uh, it was a red oxide primer from Tractor Supply, and then... Um, I think they call it low gloss black was the color that I used um, to paint this chassis and it's held up okay I think it um, probably could have been better um, you can see I've kind of cleaned it up and scraped a little bit to try and get it clean but it was developing these little blisters underneath the paint where the rust was kind of continuing even though we had those five coats of paint on there. So I've cleaned this thing up and I'm gonna spray it with uh, the same undercoating product that I've used on my wife's truck, on uh, my little beater Jeep that I drive, and um, I hope to do some vehicles for immediate family and friends, and uh, just wanted to kind of go in depth on what I'm using. So a lot of the old timers around here will swear up and down about oil spraying. Uh, there's places around here that will oil spray your car for 50, 75 bucks, whatever. Um, basically they're just using some variant of oil or some guys swear by uh, automatic transmission fluid. Um, they say it creeps a little better. But the theory is that uh, you get that on the frame and it picks up a little bit of dust and it creates kind of a coating. And you can kind of see that here. I hauled some stuff in the bed of this truck that um, leaked some oil and it got onto the frame and it did. It's kind of created a, a coating there. Same thing over here. That um, has kind of protected the frame. But I wanted to go a little bit further with that. I wanted to use something a little different than oil. The problem with oil is, uh, number one, it rinses off fairly easily. Number two, it makes an awful mess. Um, for four or five days after you oil spray a vehicle, you gotta leave it sitting outside in the driveway because it's just dripping. They just seep oil. So um, I think it's a good concept. I think there's probably some newer products on the market to do a similar job. So uh, this is kind of what I landed on. Fluid film is one that uh, has spent a lot of money recently on advertising. And I bought a kit to use fluid film or a similar product uh, called Wool Wax. Um, I bought this kit online. 
Uh, I don't remember if I got it at Amazon or if I got it directly from the manufacturer. Um, Kelsport Products. Can you see that? Um, I've been really pleased with this kit. Uh, that's the gun. It came with a couple of bottles. Uh, you can kind of pre-fill those before you get started. And then I've also got um, some wands that came with it. So there's two different styles of wands. This one's kind of a 360. It's got holes in the tip there. Um, when I was trying to use this last fall, it was cold. And I had trouble getting these wands to work right because I couldn't keep the material warm and it didn't want to spray properly. Um, but these wands are nice because they'll allow you to either drill holes or pop plugs out in existing holes and reach back inside body panels and things and coat from the inside out. Now this truck, I'm in the process of swapping beds. I got a cleaner, a little more dent-free bed to put on here so I had the bed off anyway and I wanted to go ahead and undercoat it while I have it off so the process that I've used is to try and get it as clean as possible um, I've used kind of a combination of just scraping here to pop those little blisters and uh, a needle scaler um, I highly recommend the needle scaler if you can afford it um, Go to Harbor Freight and buy yourself one of these things. It makes short work of this job. Um, not a ton to it. Uh, it just runs off of air. You do have to have a pretty decent supply of compressed air. Um, this thing's running my air compressor quite a bit, trying to keep up. But it does a heck of a job. Um, so I've tried to chip the paint off, get the thing cleaned up, and uh, to get it prepped. And I'm going to go ahead and coat it with wool wax while I've got the bed off. Um, basically, the thought is that that puts a little bit of a protective coating on here. That then over the summer, as you drive, you pick up some dirt and some dust. And it kind of sticks and creates a finish on there that kind of repels water, seals it against oxidation, and uh, hopefully allows these things to live a little longer. So that's kind of what I'm working on. Um, I will go ahead and stop the video here. I'm going to roll this thing outside if the weather will let me and spray it down. And I will show you the finished product once I get the back half of this truck done. All right, here we are. We're back. Got the back half of the truck coated with wool wax kind of see places where I got it on a little heavy um, it goes on kind of liquid I guess you can kind of see that it's not sticky um, it's lanolin based so you know there's a lot of hand lotions and things have lanolin in and in them and that's kind of what it feels like it's not oily like um, a petroleum base it doesn't feel like petroleum jelly um, it's not unpleasant I usually wear gloves and a respirator when I'm spraying it just because I don't want it all over me and I don't care to breathe this stuff in um, but it's supposedly non-toxic and not supposed to be really anything bad for you um, it took me about 20 minutes to spray the back half of this truck me considerably longer than that to do all the prep that I had done to get things cleaned up and of course I got the bed off so that makes it a ton easier but um, got the stuff laid on there um, I think it looks pretty good they do make a black color that I may get the next time um, I've seen a couple of vehicles done with the black kind of like the way that they look it almost looks like a like an undercoating or a black paint on there when you do the black. I did want to show you this. Um, and of course, this is what the stuff looks like if you don't get the black. It's uh, you know it's kind of thick. It's got some viscosity to it, but it's not super thick. It's about uh, I don't know, 70, 65, 70 degrees out here today. 
but this is just a box that I had kept everything in since last fall and there was a little bit that ran off of the cup that I used to dispense it here last fall and you can kind of see it didn't dry out but that I would say is about the consistency of like a thick axle grease or maybe uh, a little bit stiffer than petroleum jelly that's kinda what it looks like after having sat for um, probably about six seven months it did get a little sticky so I'm pleased with that. Um, the fact that it gets a little sticky and that it sticks in place and that it dries out a little waxier, I'm okay with that. Um, you know what that feels like. It's about the consistency of coconut oil. If you've ever gotten non-hydrogenated coconut oil, that's kind of what it feels like. Uh, it's about that consistency. Maybe Crisco. Uh, shortening. Everybody go to the kitchen, get into your wife's cupboards there, stick your hands in the tub of shortening. It better be Crisco. And uh, that's about the consistency of it once it's set up. So, um, like I said, I'm pleased. I got the back half of this thing done. Um, and the nice thing about this stuff is there's no dry time, there's no flash time. Uh, you don't really have to wait for it to do anything, so I can get right to um, getting back to work on this truck, getting the bed put back on. So that's kind of where we're at with this. Thanks for watching. Um, if you are interested in videos like this, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, that would really help us out. I'm, I'm just a little channel. It's just me. Um, this is not a paid advertisement. You know, I didn't get anything from Woolwax or Kelsport for uh, for doing this. I spent my own money and bought this stuff. Um, it's just uh, something that I'm trying out here. I just wanted to share my experience because I think there's a lot of people out there that are trying to get a little longer life out of their vehicles. And for what I've got invested in it, I'm hoping that uh, it was a good investment to extend life a little bit. So. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll post a video and let you know how this stuff turns out. What I may do is I might do a video on uh, my wife's truck. Um, she drives a Expedition that I sprayed this stuff with back in the fall. So uh, it's got about seven months worth of running around on it. I'm kind of curious to get under there and roll around a little and see how the stuff looks, having gone through a winter and all the car washes and... Uh, everything else that go along with it. So I'll uh, post an update here and let you know what it looks like. Thanks for watching.